coverage moves to New 6's Nadine Yanis now live in Titusville. And Nadine, local emergency officials expect thousands of people to be in Brevard County watching. I know you spoke with a lot of people today who plan on coming out on Sunday now. Yeah, and we already have some people gathering here in Titusville ready for this ULA launch that's happening in about uh, 20 minutes or so. I believe at the end of this newscast, we should have that launch happening. So that's why you're seeing a crowd gathering. But I got to show you these gentlemen here. His name is Martin, and he has a bed in the back of his pickup truck. He says he is planning on being here for the next two nights now ready for this launch. They're expecting more than 250,000 people, and we spoke to a few getting excited today. Friends Ed Irvin and Kelly Sim enjoy lunch while looking at the launch pad over the intercoastal where the four astronauts will take off. I'm hopefully going to come back and find a good spot. Yeah, but this spot was beautiful. I was just wishing I could stay here overnight myself. Enjoying the view under the A Max Brewer Bridge in Titusville, which closed during the last crewed launch in May. These images bringing concerns in the midst of a pandemic. Then Brevard County had 420 cases. Today, that number has grown to more than 13,000. People are going to come out because this is a very historic launch, mm -hmm. putting people back on the space station. So. so are you worried about your own safety at all? Oh, I'll be wearing a mask, yeah. But Pam and Bruce Payne will be avoiding the crowds at all costs tomorrow night. I have no intentions of being out in crowds or large gatherings, and uh, I'm super cautious. Oh, I take all my medical cues from my wife, <laughs> and uh, so I think we're going to be happy to watch this from the condo. And uh, so we won't be here where all the action is, but it will be uh, a f phenomenal experience. Titusville police will be closing the Max Brewer Bridge again ahead of this launch. FHP also encouraging drivers to prepare for delays, find alternative routes to the beach line, and remember CDC guidelines when in crowds. That's always been a concern as far as when these launches go up in the last you know, several months, that people have to be aware that there is a potential risk. Follow those guidelines that the CDC has recommended social distance and you know keep that to a minimum as far as interacting with other people so that we don't have an, an issue so if you're planning on coming out here make sure you plan ahead we have all of the traffic advisories from both titusville police parking locations alternative routes from fhp all of that on clickorlando.com live in titusville tonight i'm nadine Yanis getting results news six